Okay, we've seen how Marvelous Designer is very fast and efficient at doing cloth simulations. So let's see how slick it is for doing something like creating a carpet for our floor, or a rug, I should say. Now, a rug is something uh, traditionally I have done with a basically a chamfer box. Give it some thickness and some roundness on the edges, and then map a nice rug material on it. it seems pretty simple, but if you do it in Marvelous Designer, it becomes it can become a feature of your scene because it looks so realistic. The fabric simulation in here is so great. So all I'm doing is taking a panel, going in my pattern window and creating a rectangular panel. And of course it creates in the 3D window over here. I rotated it to be parallel to the ground. And if you hit simulate, you'll see what it does. It just falls to the ground. But as you know, this is a pretty complicated mesh and you can actually add some variation into it. Doing this will mostly just bring it back to normal. You can see, okay, so it's still laying down flat. But what if we did something like this, where we move a lot of the faces, kind of uh, lift the rug up like that, and then drop it again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Got some really nice wrinkles going on there. Okay, if you stretch it all the way out. Okay, so this will just add that really subtle and nice natural looking wrinkles and flow to your carpet to to give it that much more realism trust me this kind of stuff does make a difference for sure okay so that's cool so you can just kind of scoot these faces around and add some variation to your carpet okay so all of a sudden we've got this really natural looking wrinkle going on in the middle of our carpet okay so a big part of making scenes look realistic is making sure they're not too perfect, right? And I just think this is so cool. And this is just the easiest way to add some imperfections to your to your scene. So in this in the finished scene, you'll notice that I have a runner on the table that's created in exactly this way, and I want to use this for the carpet too, so that it has some variation in it as well. And um, Marvelous Designer, it just makes it so easy to do this. You can just keep adding. You can even lift up the whole object. You can lift up the whole object, turn it maybe like that, drop it again, see what happens. Okay, that gets rid of some of the wrinkles and just leaves one wrinkle right there. Okay, so you can play with this forever. You can also add thickness. So thickness would be right here. And up here, you can tell it to either display with thickness or not. Okay, so that object now has thickness to it. You can see right there on the edge. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. There we go. So there's a nice thick carpet. Now we can just continue to uh, play with it until it looks like something we want to use as a carpet. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look how fast it does that. Okay, and then we just export like normal. You can put a turbo smooth on it if you want to smooth out these edges here and um, you're good to go. So that's that's how easy it is to do a carpet in, or a rug in Marvelous Designer. Next we'll check out how to do curtains.